Let's see how you'd make a contour plot of a function of two variables with maple. Say you had the function f of x, y equals sine 2x cosine y, and you wanted to plot the level sets that correspond to, say, four different values of the parameter. So, well, as a starting point, the first thing I'm going to need is the plots package to get going. Now, the basic trick for plotting a specific level curve is to use the implicit plot command. Implicit plot works just like implicit plot 3D does, except it's a 2D version. So, for example, if you wanted to plot the implicit or the uh, level set that corresponds to zero, that means I want to plot the equation sine of 2 times x times cosine of y equals zero. I'll give it some graphing window. x equals, say, minus 5 to 5, y equals minus 5 to 5, and have at it. And so this is roughly what the plot looks like. Now, the first implicit plot you're going to get is likely to be very, very choppy, a little bit hard to read right here. And so just like with implicit plot 3D, very frequently you'd add the command grid to tell it to specify more points in its search. So a grid of 3030 will get me a slightly less choppy version. In 2D, it's usually safer to jack it up a little bit higher. So a grid of 100 and 100 gives me this right here. So I'm getting the impression of straight lines, that it's a grid of actual points right here. So there's the level set who corresponds to zero. Now if I want to do the level set that corresponds to a quarter, I just copy oops, this basic command, implicit plot, but instead of setting this equal to zero, I'd set it equal to a fourth. And when I run the command, I get these circles right here. Now it might be helpful to color code them a little bit different, so let me color code these guys as being green. And then I can drag and drop the two of them together to see the two level sets on the same set of axes. If I want to do the level set at a half, all i got to do is change this value right here. Rerun the command. Let me also change the colors to blue. And I see smaller circles, and I can drag and drop. And in this way, I could go and do several different implicit plots and come up with a decent contour. Oops, let me color these, uh, say, yellow. And drag and drop. So here would be the contours for this particular function that correspond to zero, a quarter, a half, and three quarters. Now, this is a pretty effective way of plotting individual contours, and so if you need to go and actually plot the level sets of a function that correspond to only a fixed number of level sets, this is a pretty useful tool here. If you want to make a more detailed contour plot, well, you can continue to do this. You can go and specify other parameters, such as minus one-fourth, and then again change a color. So now let me go and use orange and drag and drop. And in this process I could start going and putting together a, well, a more detailed contour plot. But it's a little bit painful coming up with new colors each time. Oh, see, purple's not even a color. Violet? That's a color. And so it becomes a little bit more complicated to do this, plus you have to rerun the command, drag and drop, and that's a little bit tedious. And the good news is, is that there's a second command for simply generating contour plots. And the plan is, well, the command is, well, contour plot. You simply say contour plot, give it the name of the function you want to work with, sine of 2x times the cosine of y. And the same syntax as before, give it a range to plot it on. and Maple will generate a contour plot. It's essentially doing all of the work we were doing before, except it chooses the contours to work with. Uh, just like before, you can put in a grid value in order to specify a much high, uh, more fine resolution. And will sometimes take some time, but there it is. By moving the cursor over it, you can actually see the sort of level sets that correspond to different heights. And they're color-coded with higher level sets being closer to yellow and lower level sets close to red right here. You can, in fact, even do what we did before using the contour plot command. You can actually specify specific contours to show. You can specify contours equals, and by piping in 0, 1 fourth, uh, 1 half, and 3 fourths, Maple will rerender the command showing only those contours. Uh, and it will show them again using the same color coding convention, red being the lowest and yellow being the highest. It's a nice way of getting specific information. Uh, why do we use implicit plot versus contour plot? Meh, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Both are useful commands, and so both are at least worth taking a gander at. And that's how you would make contour plots using Maple.